Oi, oi. Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Groove Rider of the Electrical World. Just doing bits, just carrying on from my uh, test equipment, is in today's show, what I wanna do is I wanna show you my Q-Technique Lightmate adapters. Before we get into the show, if you could do us a massive favor, if you could like, subscribe, and flick the bell, it helps the channel grow. Right, in tonight's episode, what I wanna do is, uh, I just want to show you these uh, light adapters. They, co they come in packs of five. They've got um, various different ends, like you've got the GU10 there. You've also got Lightmate BC. I've got, to be, I've got to be absolutely truthfully honest with you. I've been a Sparks for 23 years. Other than the Edison screw, the GU10, and probably the Bayonet, I don't really know the difference, different... Um, names for all the different lamp sends and all that i'm terrible for it i even used to do uh reactive maintenance for uh h&m's and the company used to have the contract where they used to change all the lamps i, I used to be dreadful with it uh, another thing i really struggle with is uh emergency lighting done it my whole career like what's the difference between maintained and non-maintained i've just always struggled to know the difference I, I obviously know what the difference is it's just that i don't know which one's which you know but hey ho it is what it is i wasn't born an electrician what i found handy with them for if i'm st if i've just finished a new job and i've come in to test it doing all the dead tests and all that and i'm looking for me r1 r2 or maybe me even me r1 even me r2 and rn or r1 and rn you know, is what, what these are really handy for is if you put, if you put these, I'll, I'll use the example with the GU10s, is if you plug these into the lights, so say for instance, you finish the whole job, you're coming to now test and commission it, you know, dead test, is what I find handy with these, is if you're using the two plate wiring system, which, which is two plate is feeding the switch, is in each room, what I'll do is when we're second fixing the downlight, is the end of line one in each room, I will leave, I will not fully push up, I'll leave it hanging out so I know that I've got to go there, test it. And what I'll do is I'll plug these in, and obviously these have got two ports on them, like the live and neutral, or line and neutral, yeah. Sorry, they've got two ports, the line and the neutral. And I literally just put, plug them in, and then put the, uh, put the earth on the house in and all that and another really good thing is with i use the aurora down lights and they have two, like each terminal is two ports you can't actually twist them together you know it's quite funny really you see a lot on social media of people people digging people out for that but i remember i was taught that even at college to twist the earths but i remember working with guy taylor in white white city chapel and we were discussing it and he, he said to me he goes he got pulled up this was probably about 10 years ago he, i remember him saying that he got pulled up for it by the nic for it and you know after he explained it i never done it again you know what i mean because it made sense you know because if you're twisting the earth together and they pop out and especially if it's on a, a lighting circuit you don't have the plug-in testers to find it you know it's an absolute nightmare to find but now, lucky enough, most of these quick fit terminals on the light fittings are just you, only allows one terminal. But I just thought I'd bring bring that up, and that's kind of how what we use these for. You could probably use them for insulation resistance. Another thing is what I always do as well is uh, at college they either give you the method, don't they, of where you can link out the MCB to the MET, like the the earth terminal. I always, always pull them both out and put them either in a Wago, it used to be a connector, but now, or even even at worst, I would take the live to the MET. I would never leave a link. I'd just say, oh, it's just final destination, that sort of caper, isn't it? The other reason what I use them for, which I think they come in massively handy as well, is when we're doing like periodic testing and all that, because if we come into some of these old light fittings that have been up there for years and they look as if, you know, they're actually decorated into, we usually we usually they use these for the uh, to to do the earth loop impedance. So obviously we plug them in. I use this one with a uh, Edison. Is that you'd plug it in, plug it in, and then use the earth as uh, on the housing. That is a perfect way of doing it. The only problem is with it is that you're not really going to see the connections, and that is the that is enough. Uh, 
problem really is that you're not really checking for connections but I would just always put that on my limitations if I'm using that method of testing then I'd, I'd always note it down there's nothing to hide is there people get a bit locked up with all them limitations and all that because if that's the way you're going to do it that's the way you're going to do it as long as people know then they, you can't get pulled up for it can you that's that's my interpretation anyway I'm more than welcome for you to be proven wrong at the bottom if you're right in the comment uh, comments another really good way as well is which which i find it comes in handy because now if we change light fitting especially on the way home we've got one or two to pop up what we always used to do is change the light fitting i use the main example one of those like t-bars you know where you put the bar up with the two screws and they've got the two screws on the end is that you second fix it you take a loop and then you put it up but there's a period of you second there's a period of you testing it and putting it up because sometimes you have to juggle the light fitting about and all that and there's nothing to say that the earth or the live hasn't popped out and that is what we generally use it for now is literally after we've done that we can actually do carry out a light test a live test without actually in sync sync and you can actually do the test of it before and afterwards to see if there's any difference in value but yeah, that's what kind of, I kind of use them for. And I, I just think they're, yeah, I think they're great. Like these ones are Q-Tech. I think Socket and C do some. I think TSI do some. T, uh, yeah, I think it is called TSI. I think they do a set. And I, I just think they're great. I think I paid about 40, 50 quid for them. At first, I was a bit reluctant to use them. But now I use them all the time. I think they're perfect, you know. As long as they're used properly and that. And it's a good way of testing the... Uh, R1, R2. Yeah, so I'll just show you a couple of bits that I've made up. Is uh, one of my customers, a lot of his houses seem to have five amp, five amp light plugs. So what we've done is we've, I've bought the, I've bought the plug and I've just literally put it on the end of a socket so I can test it safely with my uh, my ME, MFT. So it, you know, I don't come in any danger. And also I've done the same with the. Uh, the click plug so when i go to commercial buildings and all that i can literally just uh earth loop impedance or dead test it without it coming into any harm you know i just find it quick and it's simple i keep them always set up obviously with these ones it doesn't matter you know because even the emergency ones the the uh you still get to the uh but yeah that's what i use and i think it comes in handy there is a couple of other bits that I've, I've had made up over the time. I've lost it at the moment. I don't know where it is, but I've got a single socket where I've literally just connected all the live neutral nerve together. So I'll just null this out. So when I'm doing the uh, loop impedance, I null that lead out. And that's gen generally a couple of little ideas. It'd be interesting to know if anyone else had got anything made up. I have actually thought about um, sacrificing one of my uh, toothbrush holders and making up a little, uh, the same thing with this. Same thing for this, for one of those, but obviously you would have to, you'd have to either wire a four mil out of there, so for a prong or something, or just bypass it and put the prong on that, I'm not too sure, but be interesting to know what you use and all that. Well, anyway, it's just a short little episode. I hope you can like, subscribe and all that jazz. Anyway, if you're gonna be anything, then be electric. Up the old blues, you know.